what's up you guys yes yes i know it's good to see me too welcome to another video if you like my last video please subscribe and please leave comments in this video i'll be sharing my skincare routine okay okay but before we do that let's take a trip down memory lane sometime last year i started having a lot of hormonal acne which would dry up and turn into spots and in some cases skin tags yes yes food and so like most people my skincare routine was soap and water till it wasn't working anymore till my face became what i did not recognize so i started googling and i started researching like skincare how to get on this skincare journey and i started off with like the most basic routine you can think of cleanse tone vitamin c eye cream moisturizer sunscreen first step is actually cleansing and i do this like while i'm taking my bath i just wash my face with the cleanser and then i move to my toner so the toner is the neutrogena triple action toner all i do is just like put it on a cotton pad cotton pad and yeah i just clean my face with it so the thing i like about this toner is that you can actually clean even though you cleanse your face and you see like dirt in your face so i actually like to see the dirt because it makes me feel like it's working all right so the next step my vitamin c so i use the the ordinary ascorbic eight percent and alpha arbutin two percent vitamin c serum honestly this is what changed my routine because when i started the skincare this was not in the routine initially for the first few weeks but when i brought it in everything just like went to another level my face brightened up my spot cleared out a lot so this is like a one product for me i tried to not put this applicator on my skin directly because of bacteria so i kind of like to leave this vitamin c for like five minutes to kind of soak in you know just <laughs> let's see and everybody will okay okay and then there's the eye cream eye serum it's caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. Yeah. So with this one, I just usually use it at night. I kind of just like put a very tiny drop in my palm and then just like apply it from my palm. That's how I like to use it. Just pat 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 pat. I like to go in with my moisturizer next yeah so for the moisturizer i have two of them so this one i typically use at night and this one because it has like some spf i just like to use it in the morning and then like use my sunscreen so i'll be going in with this one wait 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 <laughs> this is the nivea advert How's it all going on here? Nivea, good for your skin. <laughs> you guys just said that you're not going to do that for me. <laughs> but yeah, let's focus, you guys. Let's focus. And then sunscreen. Sunscreen, super important, super important. I cannot overemphasize. Even if you're not going out, I think you should use sunscreen. If you're not going out, you can just use this one that has like small SPF of like 15 and just chill in your house. But yeah, I have like a good sunscreen. This is Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. My problem with this one though is that it leaves a small cast, like white cast on my face. So when I rub this off time, I'll be looking like one Ujuju Kanaba. And finally, rose water. Rose water, I just like to spritz just to get that. <coughs> well, just to get that hydration, you guys. This is my basic skincare routine. One, you should know your skin type. When you're buying products, it's always great to know your skin type. Do you have normal skin? Do you have oily skin, combination skin? Do you have dry skin? So any product you're buying, you know that that is going to work for your skin type. Do you have sensitive skin? Because if you have sensitive skin, you need to be very careful when you buy products. Number two, research your product. Before you buy anything, it's great to check reviews. I typically check Amazon. I just like scroll down to like the review section. And then if like the complaints are too much, I'm just like, ha. I mean, I cannot risk this one on my face. So you should check reviews, especially reviews from people with like 
similar skin type if, if you have sensitive skin and like almost everybody is on the same yeah you shouldn't buy this you shouldn't use this if you have sensitive skin then you definitely should not buy that product okay okay also before buying products you should know like what it contains for example my cleanser has four percent benzoyl peroxide <laughs> i said that right in one city but yes this is actually great for like acne treatment eclair spots and it also has like niacinamide that helps like smoothing your skin another tip is that you should get yourself a face towel if you're using the same towel you use on your body for your face you're doing yourself a disservice you should have like a dedicated towel for your face minus like even bacteria there's a lot of things you probably spray maybe like perfumes that would be too harsh on your face so you definitely need a separate towel for your face and then are you sure your water is clean a good example is me last year in september when i just moved to my current place i still had like rashes all over my face and i realized that it was my water and since then i haven't used or i don't use tap water to like wash my face i just use pure water if you're not sure whether your water is clean or if your water is affecting you you can just switch to like buying pure water a bag of pure water is like 150. don't sleep with makeup on i'm judging you i am i'm judging i'm judging myself because i do it sometimes like even if you wipe your face with baby wipes it's always great to actually just like wash your face with your cleanser don't sleep with makeup on you guys and also don't do too much don't like start trying to be a product junkie when you're just starting out and why i understand that like i want to rush and try all these things but you should give your skin some time to breathe so you don't break your skin barrier if you're starting with a routine and just follow it for like a month or two so far as you're seeing that you're not breaking out unnecessarily or it's not affecting your skin and last but not least this thing, this sunscreen, this thing. Sunscreen is your best friend. I just want you to know that. Do you know the country you are in? Do you know? It is Nigeria. <laughs> this is our sun. <laughs> sunscreen is your best friend. Honestly, if you are not, if, if you're not going out, if you're in your house, just try like small SPF. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Can't be doing dry chocolate. <laughs> Those lips are for the cute boys. So I hope this video has been helpful and if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you think about my skincare routine and if it's something you think you want to try, please be sure of your skin type, please be sure the products are a good fit for you before you try them and you know what, you can just see a dermatologist. Them they talk say money no the niggas, Bye guys, bleep. Before I leave you completely, here is my song of the week, Heartbreak Anniversary by Give Your. Enjoy!